are a ton of weird gadgets and gizmos on TikTok, but today we're putting them to the test. Now on this is, we've taken a look at some weird stuff from TikTok, but today we're looking for the good, the bad, the ugly. Spending too much time on your phone is not good. Touching grass is good. And sometimes, because you're so compulsively checking every notification from the Austin Evans YouTube channel, subscribe, that you just gotta take a second and look at your phone in a locked box. So we've got ourselves, uh, oh, it's just a clear box. Okay, that's, I don't know what I expected. It does have a USB-C as well as a, oh, is it like a key? Oh, no, it's a, wait, what? It's got USB-C and lightning on the side? All right, let's try it. I'm gonna close it up, double click, and we're gonna go for, I guess we'll just go for one minute, it doesn't really matter. All right, so it's gonna do the 10 second countdown. So once you double click it, you have 10 seconds to change your mind. Make sure your phone is adjusted however you want. But now, three, two, okay. My phone is in there. So I am forced to listen to Matt this entire time. But the nice thing is with these holes, I can actually kind of like scroll a little bit. Like it's actually not terrible. And I can also do this part too. Now mind you, you can definitely get your phone in a bad spot, but I actually do kind of understand this. There's also a hole on the bottom where you can plug your phone in. For 24 bucks, I'll give them a pass on this. You know what, TikTok? Not bad. Are these the world famous bony buds? Bony space buds, not boner buds? Like, I keep accidentally calling them. I've seen these before on TikTok. I'm not sure if these specific ones are some similar ones, but they're bone conduction headphones. Now, if you're not familiar, bone conduction is a real, uh, uh, well, they will if I try. There we go. Bo <laughs> bone conduction headphones work by instead of actually playing like little speakers for your ear holes, instead it vibrates the bones that go into your ears. Cause I don't know if you knew this or not, there are bones in your ears and they go and then that turns into music. I've tried bone conduction in the past, but TikTok seems to love these things. So let's take a look. The problem with bone conduction, as you might expect from something that has to be transmitted through the inner ear bones, is that it don't typically sound very good. And it being this cheap is almost probably worse. So we're talking about 20 bucks for these, which I mean like, sure, I guess, it's about what you would pay for a somewhat decent pair of in-ear uh, buds. But these are, well, they're not in-ear, they're ear. Small case, I'll give them that and we open it up. Boy, that is a shape uh, if I've ever seen one. Dude, it looks so weird, the case having, it looks like you've got like four sets of earbuds. <laughs> now the problem is I just, it's not an intuitive shape. Oh, I thought I broke them. Oh no, I did break them, look, look, they split. Like, look, do you see what they're just, literally they're splitting right now? I thought that was like, that was like the button. I barely even touched them. Look, they're literally broken already. Did I just break my boner buds? There's no way that people do this. <laughs> This is not a thing. They're, your ears are so red. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to get that roughly, but there's no way that that's it. Cause it's like, it's just pointing it in my ear. There's no, like, there's no way that I'm doing something wrong, right? There's no way they're this bad. Dude, this is dumb. No, I'm over it. Boner buds. You need to pop a pill, they, my they, friends. They went, they went limp. <laughs> they, they were limp to begin with and they never got any better. Can you enlighten me? What is the, Interactive car gadget, the guess it You know when the guy behind you is kind of being a little jerky face? Yeah. And like, you want right, to tell him that? Yeah, but you I can't. roll my window down and flip him off. Well, have I got the product for you? Because now you don't have oh. to strain yourself. So interactive car gadget, gesture one, flipping him the bird. Gesture two, saying hello to others. Gesture three, showing your love to others, thank you. How is anyone gonna know? Like, this is so much work. My hands are attached to my arms. They are great and functional. Uh, California driving code says you keep your hands at 10 and two <laughs> at all times. We have ourselves. <laughs> Why is it so thick? It is actually quite thick. So I guess this just attaches to your window. And then you've got the remote control here, which will either give you the middle finger, the wave, or the, <laughs> the hook of horns. Time to go. Flip some people off. Theoretically, this is going to be very straightforward. I had to put in some AA batteries here, but if I press the button, oh, it's not working. Okay, I think, hey, here we go, all right. Uh, the battery terminals are really bad on this, but technically it is now functioning. So if I press the button, we can do, there we go. So I can hit the, the wave button, 
the hook em horns. <laughs> so I guess what I'll do is I'll mount it something like this. Well, here's a problem I'm realizing. This glass here is curved. So not only is a problem in this Forerunner because this window can roll down. So if I ever rolled it down, that would be a problem, which I like rolling the window down. But also the glass is so curved, I don't know how well it's gonna stay. It'll probably stay okay, but hey, look, you can see it. So the remote also comes with a little bit of adhesive and Velcro. So if you really care about this thing, you can have it mounted like to your dashboard or something and just immediately just smash the button. All right. I mean, it does do exactly what they say it does. The remote works fine. It's all battery powered. It's pretty easy to install. I still somewhat struggle with the idea of like, what's the point? I mean, are you so polite that like someone cuts you off and you're like, Arr! beep, Arr! Like it just seems a little bit strange, but you know what? TikTok, it works exactly the way you advertise. Next up, we have the Smartwatch TWS headset. Now we've looked at one of these before on Mystery Tech. It is a smartwatch that has a pair of earbuds inside. Now, the ones I've looked at in the past were cheap and really terrible, but according to TikTok, this is actually good. Okay, well, we got some stuff. So we got ourselves a band. We have our little earbuds and the watch itself. Yeah, that actually looks like a fairly nice watch. And it does have a sensor of some kind. I'm assuming it's a heart rate sensor or something. Oh, yo, that's cool. Yo, wait, wait, wait. That's actually cool. And it's like seriously magnetized. I, you know what? I'm actually kind of about this. So I'm gonna line up my earbuds on the inside with the Poco pens facing upward. Boom. Wow, okay, you know what? We've got ourselves a watch and it's all set to go. So I like how the Apple Watch says I'm at 66 and this watch thinks I'm at 82. Hmm, I wonder which one I'm gonna trust. Yeah, you know what? My right side is like boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see here. How about blood pressure? Tell me my blood pressure. Oh, I'm 105 over 75. Okay. I definitely trust that. That's definitely a real blood pressure number that I would have can right I, now. Can I borrow that to show my doctor? <laughs> Apple Watch says it needs, oh, I'm at 99%. Oh, I'm 96%. Oh, I'm 99%. It is wildly varying on the other one. Apple Watch says I'm at 99. This one says anywhere between 96 and 99, but I suspect that that's just making up numbers like the other numbers that it's giving me. This is my favorite part of it. Like, it's a really strong like mechanism and the screen still works and everything. That's actually really nice. So I'll pull my buds out, okay, and they're blinking, so I assume that they're gonna be good. Uh, I don't know which one's right or left, so I'm just gonna just give it a try. Oh, they're so small. So now I am paired with everything. So let me do this. Let me play some music and I'll see if I can control it from the uh, watch. These are not bad, actually. Woo! Damn, son. Okay, so first of all, they're loud. I was like, oh man, I thought I had them at max volume. I had them at half volume. As with most of these earbuds, a lot of bass. And considering how tiny they are, honestly, not bad. Now, the fit is, I think, kind of interesting because they kind of have to tuck like all the way in your ears, right? So for me to put it in, like that's what it looks like when it's all the way in. So it's like pretty much flush. But considering that when I'm done, these go straight back into my watch. Look, how cool is that? Boom. I like the earbuds way more than the watch. The watch seems really basic. Like. It's crazy to me, and maybe I'm missing some setting in here somewhere. It's crazy to me that I cannot control my music from this. For 70 bucks, if you just care about a mediocre smartwatch, and honestly, like, fairly decent earbuds that are all in one package, TikTok, man, you're not kidding. This thing is actually, like, it's way better than any of these other, like, earbud combinations I've ever tried before. TikTok, what you got next? The Power Factor Saver. Easy and simple, okay? Just plug it in, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I don't really fully understand what I've got here, but I'm gonna suspect it's a scam. It's a power, it was well, supposed to be a power conditioner. You just plug this into your wall. Dude, all right, I'm, I'm, cutting, this, I'm cutting this thing open. Okay, well, come here, come take a look at it, okay? There's some technical parameters that you need to learn. The useful load is 28,000 watts. 28 kilowatts. Cool. This so is the useful load. Mo most breakers do about 2,000. Yep, yep, yep. If I understand this right, you plug this into your wall, and then it magically makes all your electricity not spiky. Oh my God, that's not anything. There's, that is not a thing. That's not a thing. We have a very ominous black box that is hard glued. Let's see what happens when we plug this in. So I'm gonna plug it into power here. The LED turns on, and suddenly our power has been saved. You know what this is in the black box? It's a buck converter. Okay. To go from 110 to 12 volt to for power LED. for the LED. So basically, you plug this in and it is an LED and that is it. Wow, Matt's doing something dangerous. Everyone get ready. So you're gonna plug it in without everything on it. 
Yeah. So all of this is just to power this one LED behind this. Well, I'm not sure who told me to buy this thing, but um, in case you ever see this on TikTok or Amazon or something, it's uh, clearly, very clearly, a scam. What is this? The Upi uh, Switch Dock? Oh, 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 is this one of those automatic poker dealers? The way this works is that you load up a deck of playing cards. I think you guys should tell like how many people you have and I go beep, 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 beep. Um, let's give it a try. Unfortunately, I don't think one word of this is in English, so I'm gonna have to try to figure it out myself. Sure, let's just play it and see what happens. So I'm gonna put this in the middle and see if it actually wants to deal. Ready, everybody ready? Whoa, it does the thing! It does the thing! That is actually so cool! Who wants to play, who wants to play? Okay, so we're gonna set it for three players and five cards each. Oh, it's like the three of us are close. I think those extra buttons were... Dude, there's no way you can tell me that you can deal that fast. No shot. Yo. No, no yeah. shot, no Call shot. Call Gambit, because these are good cards. I need to be dealt oh, to. Oh, wait, how do we do this part? <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. No, hold on, hold on, wait. Dude, I got, I got. Please, this. please, I help, help me, All help right. me spit two cards out. Oh, you can legit, oh, that makes sense. Okay, got it. Notice how he always like, this is no way to do anything. And then we, we come in and show him how to do it immediately. Okay, okay. Well, since we didn't bet anything, I guess we just gotta show our hands. Yeah. All right. But I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Queen high. Queen high, I got two, I got deuces. I was going for a straight, but I didn't get it. So that means I win, yeah, let's go boy. I'm, I can't with you often, Evans. How much was this? It was $130. Okay, it's a little expensive. Considering and it doesn't even shuffle. It's not gonna shuffle. Okay, it's a little expensive. But you're talking about a neat gadget. Like, this is what TikTok is for. Besides feeling bad about yourself. You get to find out that something neat like this existed. I had no idea. So next up, we've got the Fingerbot, which is a smart controller for any button and switch. This theoretically might be one of the most useful items that I've seen. A lot of the stuff that we've looked at today is like weird or entertaining. This is like actually like a cool idea. Like I can think of a couple of things in my house that I would hook up a Bluetooth finger to. So this is the finger pusher. So now that it's on, I can manually press the button and it pushes, or I can use the app. So I can actually change the down movement, the up movement, and sustain time. So let's do the up movement is 50% and the down movement to be 70%. So let's try that. Oh, interesting. So yeah, so I guess using the app, you can adjust it. So say I mount it and I want it to come up and then down just a little bit. So maybe you actually could tune this just right as it wiggles to like push the switch up to the point where it turns on and then you let go and it will pull the switch back if you kind of get that point of tension just right. All right, who's got something that I can use my Bluetooth finger on? We can add to the DMX board yeah. so you do can it. turn the studio do on it. and off. Okay, so this is our lighting console. So with this, I can change all kinds of stuff like the lighting in the studio to all kinds of different things. What I could also do is just set it over the power button. And I'll set over this button. And if I press it, theoretically, it will be able to be powerful enough to shut off all the lights. Are you ready to give it a try? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? It's not strong enough. I'm just gonna hold it down. Ready, set. Yeah! Yeah, it works! I'm scared. Look at that! Amazing! Now our dumb studio's smart. Next up, we have the link. Not to be confused with the link in Las Vegas, which is spelled the exact same way. No, this is the link bracelet stretch, which is the better way to network. Is this a, wait, okay, let me take, take a guess. Is this an NFC business card? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Why? Also, wait, that's it? Well, you're a tiny little. What, little, I don't have that small of wrists. You're a tiny little twig person, so. Okay. Oh, it feels mm. like I'm about to get a shot. You know like when they put the little tourniquet on? You like, look like you're ready for hugs go right now. Please hold while I set up my business card. Wait. Looking good, fire emoji. <laughs> Is the app flirting with you? Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Okay, all right. Okay, that's problematic in a lot of ways. Matt, you want to read it after? <laughs> I'll be 
the girl with the, the linky popple thing. You just be a random creeper who I'm gonna walk by. Okay, ready? And action. Oh my god, is that... Hi, what's oh, up? Oh yeah, just, just... Oh yeah, you can yeah, touch oh, it, sure, yeah, of course. Yeah, Bye, oh, see you later. Pizza. Did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that Everyday Inventions? What? Oh, oh hi, oh, what's oh, up? Oh, oh yeah, that's, no, wait, wait, that's just, a little just, aggressive. Just, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so just, yeah, no problem. For the record, nothing's fine. Nice, great, great to meet you, all right, have a good one, see ya. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, a random white dude, here, just give me a See ya. God is Insta. How much was the link? Can we confirm the prices? Uh, so that is the old version that they have. That's okay. like a V1 or whatever, yeah, so yeah. we don't have pricing on it. But so for the V3, so we're V3 now, like it's, it's 20 well. bucks. This is dumb and you shouldn't buy it. Also, you shouldn't aggressively try to scan people in any way. Every trade show I've ever been to has aggressively tried to scan me. Okay, that's fair, actually. Most of the time, you shouldn't try to aggressively scan people. Now this box is interesting because it says keyboard, but I just, uh, I don't have, you know, big chunk of hands or anything, but that seems a little small. First flaw, micro USB. We uh, almost made it we through a whole almost... video. So here's the problem. I can see the ribbon cable. Do you see the ribbon cable right there? The orange ribbon cable? It's very obviously right there. And you can see the backside of it here. I, can, I shouldn't be able to like, with my fingernail, basically break the keyboard with the ribbon cable. So that's like my first problem. It's a basically mini keyboard. So the concept here is that you carry this with you and when you sit down and you need to do some email, you pull the little phone holder out, unfold this, and then you pair it as a Bluetooth device, drop your phone on it, and you can type away. So for context, this is the size of a normal keyboard, okay? Oh, it's so small. Dude, my whole hand covers it. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. This is not gonna be good though. Ready, set, 43 words per minute, 89% accuracy. I'm gonna write an angry tweet. They're missing keys. The quote and the, oh my God, you have to hold function to get the apostrophe. Oh good, no, this is not it. Mm. Okay, how much was this? $53. This is actually close to being a good product. Bow, how about? Not now. How about ka -chow? Okay, uh, I gotta level with you. Uh, we have been sponsored by Ugreen in the past, terrific company. What exactly is unique about a car Bluetooth audio receiver? So as far as I can see, you just plug this into the aux on your car and then it will give you Bluetooth, which is especially nice if you have a car that doesn't have Bluetooth or car player Android Auto. Hey, oh, USB-C, Ugreen, you know what's up. All right. So this seems like it's quite simple. So you have a button, which will either uh, start or stop your call, I assume, or play or pause your music. You got a plus and minus. You have a mic on here, which I guess is important because if you're trying to take a Bluetooth call, your car stereo will work for the actual audio out, but there needs to be some kind of microphone. So that's actually a pretty clever inclusion. You've got yourself a 3.5 mil, and then you've got USB-C. So first up with Ugreen is I'm going to get it powered up. So in my car, I actually have my aux and my USB down here. So you know one thing I'm realizing though, is that because my aux is in the, uh, the center console, the mic wouldn't work. Because if I had this closed, obviously it's a cleaner setup, but you wouldn't be able to hear me for calls. So let's just play a video real quick and see if it works. Yeah. That was well yeah, done. Was I just attended okay. the Microsoft I mean, it works. Event. So you know what? Audio quality, actually not that. Hello, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, it's not the most clear. So here, let me just, I'm gonna tap the mic. Tell me, do you hear this? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can hear that. It's very loud when you do that. Okay, so you're hearing it. So this is what it sounds like. So I'm just gonna just pretend like, ah, rah, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm talking and driving. Does this, does this sound passable as like a Bluetooth setup in your car? No, it sounds pretty terrible. Like I would prefer if you just put yourself on speakerphone on your own phone. How about now? How does it sound on speaker? It sounds much more clear. Okay, so if you've got an older car and you don't have Bluetooth, I will say this is a much cheaper and easier way of adding Bluetooth to your existing car versus getting like an entirely new head unit. I just wish it maybe sounded a little bit better, but other than that, kind of hard to complain. TikTok, man, you got some good stuff. Hi, what's oh, up? Oh yeah, just, just Oh yeah, you can yeah, touch oh, it, sure, yeah, of course. Yeah, Bye, oh, see you oh, later. Pizza.